Hey everybody, this is Recital Hair and Makeup 2023. Um, Miss Liz's hair is slightly damp, I've already wet it. Um, so we're gonna get into it. So we're gonna start with the center part. So brush everything back, align with the nose, draw a straight line all the way back. <laughs> There we go, split it down the middle. I'm just gonna add a little bit more water. Just like that, I have her nice part. All set and ready to go. I'm gonna add a little bit of gel. And rub it in. Gel it down, get all these little crazy flyaways at the top, at the back, but especially the sides. That's where they're gonna come in crazy. There we go. I always just pull the hair together after I have the gel on my hand, so then everything gets a little bit of gel. Love it. There we go, use your fine tooth comb. Pull everything back. Got it. Good, drawing everything to the base of the skull. There we go, making sure to get these guys, thank you. So the most important part of your recital hair is going to be this really nice, solid base pony. If your base pony is lumpy, if it has um, a lot of crazy flyaways, that's where you're gonna run into trouble later. So now I have everything slicked back. I have a hair color pony. There we go, nice and snug. Oh, I think I can go one more time. There we go. Looking gorgeous, Miss Liz. There we go. Okay, so then I have this base pony, center part, nice and flat, looks great. So now you're gonna just start, um, if they have, thin to medium hair, you're gonna want one coil. If they have thick to crazy thick, then you're gonna to wanna to split it into two coils, okay? I'll show you um, with Miss Liz with um, one coil, and then um, if you still have questions, come and see me. So I always have the dancer drop their chin to their chest. Yep, that'll give you a better um, angle for this, you're gonna take a nice tight coil and you're gonna coil it up next to their head. Then you're gonna wrap it all the way around, just like this. These little crazies, those are okay. We're gonna work with those, not against them. I'm gonna take a clear pony and I'm gonna just put a clear pony wrapped up right around it. So do you see how the bun is kind of coming together? Um, I'm gonna put in one more pony because I couldn't get it twice. I'm just gonna put one more. There we go. And then you take a hairnet of their hair color. Miss Liz, we're using brown. 
um, you're gonna take your hairnet and you're gonna wrap it around two times. I'll do that one more time, that was the crazy part. So you're gonna put the, I know it's really hard to see, but you're gonna put the hairnet around one side, you're gonna flip the hairnet over, and you're gonna put it around the other side. Now I have this long tail of hairnet. This is what we're gonna do. We're not just gonna keep wrapping it and wrapping it and wrapping it over and over and over because then you're gonna be able to see it. And especially if it's just slightly different from their hair, you're definitely gonna be able to see it. So you're gonna take a bobby pin, you're gonna put the um, tail together, and you're gonna pin it in. And then you just take this tail and you tuck it in around the bun. I'm using hairpins for this part. So these are the ones that are open. Um, and you're going to take the tail and you're gonna tuck it in. You're gonna pin it right on in. Okay, so you want your bun to be nice and flat, like a pancake or like a cinnamon roll and not standing up like a doorknob. So you're gonna um, take your bun pins and you're gonna go all the way around the bun and you're gonna slide them in flat. So you're gonna grab a little bit of hair and you're gonna slide it in nice and flat. Let's right. see if you have any tips if you don't have a hairnet. Oh, you should have a hairnet, but if you don't have a hairnet, it's gonna be a little bit more complicated. Your crazies are gonna like definitely fly away. Um, I would say if you don't have a hairnet, you should think about maybe using another like round of pins and then do another clear pony to get all those pins in and down. Okay, so I've gone all the way around with those hair pins. Um, she has a couple of little like extra crazy, so I'm gonna use a bobby pin. This is the one that's like a traditional closed pin and I'm gonna just get those crazies tucked away. Mm -hmm. The bobby pins, when your dancer's like, I have a digger, I have a digger. It's probably a bobby pin, not a bun pin. Those bun pins are pretty nice. They lay pretty flat. Okay, so um, after that, wow, you look so wonderful. We're gonna go ahead and spray it. Whoop. Spray her on down. I know you guys are like looking at me like I'm crazy with the hairspray but every one of these little baby hairs that are hanging up that you can see now that I've um, sprayed it, those are all gonna be caught by the light and they're gonna make it look like your dancer has a lion's mane on stage. So we're gonna keep those all doing what they're supposed to be doing. Everybody's just laying on down, taking a nice nap, okay? I'm using my fine tooth comb and I'm brushing it down. Don't, you don't wanna put the like teeth in and then pull it because if you have any snarls, those snarls are all gonna like get set right next to the bun. So instead you wanna use it kind of like a, um, kind of like a broom. We're just sweeping everybody together. There we go. Put everything back. If you have a um, pointy pick comb, you can slide it in and slide it under the bun. It's a really fun little technique piece. There you go. You look good. And just like that, look at these split. We have um, recital hair. Check, check. Okay, we're gonna flip Miss Liz around and we're gonna go for our makeup right away. So, um, I have some, eyeshadow, just a neutral palette. I have a little bit of bronzer and then I have eyeliner, mascara, and uh, lipstick. That'll be it. So we're going to start with eyes. We're going to start with a pretty neutral tan and we're going to go from the, we're going to cover the whole eyelid up to the eyebrow with just a nice neutral, easy peasy color. This will just kind of make everything look really seamless. Sorry, my slides closed right Okay. And then I'm gonna go for a little bit of a darker color. I'm gonna go for this bad boy right here. I don't know if you can tell. Okay. 
And then we're just gonna do right next to, um, from the center of the eyeball out, and then we're gonna go up to the crease. Sorry, sorry. I dropped some brown on her cheek and we don't want, we don't want all that dark underneath her eyes because then she'll look like she's playing a, an, angry, an angry lady on stage. There we go. Just like that. We're gonna go ahead and put on some eyeliner. Um, for eyeliner, the easiest thing to do is to like ex just put a little bit of tension on the outside of the eye and then you're going to come in and you're going to, I'm using a pencil, you can also use liquid, whatever makes you happiest. Draw right next to the eyelashes. Ooh, open your eyeballs, Miss Liz. <gasps> wow. And then we're going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. There we go, right next to the eyelashes. We don't want it to be crazy thick. We're just going to have a little bit more definition to the eyeballs. There we go. A little bit of mascara. If you're doing mascara on a small child, the easiest thing for you to do is tell them to tip their chin up mm -hmm. and then find a speck of dust on your shirt. Okay, you're gonna look right here. Oh yeah. And then you have a nice wide opening for them. Don't tell them to blink. Oh, oh I knew this. Um, don't tell them to blink. I mean, you can if you want to. Um, but typically, um, when you tell them to blink, then they start moving their head all over and we don't necessarily want them to move their head all over. So you're going to look down at my little speck of dust. You're going to wiggle this little wand up and into their eyelashes. You might just be able to do a couple strokes before they need to blink. <laughs> yeah. There we go. But have them keep finding that little speck of dust right on your shirt and a little piece of lint. There we go. And then to do, oh, I should do this one. This will be easier for you guys to see. Look down at my little speck. You got it. You're doing great. There you go. And then you're able to really get these long eyelashes. They're so pretty. There you go. You're doing great. Just like that. And then you're going to have your dancer um, look, put their chin normal, and then just look up. So find a thing, find a spot on the ceiling. If they have crazy long eyelashes like Miss Liz, they're probably going to get mascara on their eyebrows. There you go. Just like that. You got it. You're doing good. This one's the tricky one. The bottoms are the tricky. There you go. Looking good. If your dancer is super blondy and they look like they have no eyebrows, you can use a little bit of mascara boop, 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 and touch up those eyebrows. Or if your mascara is black and they are blonde, maybe don't use mascara, um, but you can use a little bit of like brown um, eyeshadow and just kind of fill them in. Otherwise they will look like they have nothing on stage. Okay. And then I have this like brownish palette. So I'm not using a bright red cheek for Miss Liz. You're gonna start at her, um, the apples of her cheeks, and then you're just gonna go up to the hairline, just like this. Um, if you're doing your dancer's makeup before they put their costume on, which you should, because you never know where that mascara wand is gonna land when you drop it, um, you should have them wear like a, a button up shirt or like an open neckline. So then when you take off their shirt to put their costume on, it doesn't all wipe off with them. Okay, so we're using a nice um, berries and cherries color for Miss Liz. 
and then you're gonna have them just relax their lips and open up their mouth just slightly, not crazy. They're all gonna look like this. And then you're gonna have a terrible time. Um, so you're just relaxing them. If they have super chapped lips, you might wanna put on chapstick first. You can also use it with like a wand um, lipstick, that's okay. Go sinuses. I'm the worst at lipstick, but it's okay. Nobody will be able to tell from the stage. Lipstick should be the last thing you put on, and it should be put on like maybe even once you drop them off at recital or at picture day. They don't need to wear makeup for picture day. Make them maybe not berries and cherries, but maybe something a little bit more neutral. And there you have it. Miss Liz, you're all done. Makeup, hair, check.